All right, welcome to July 2017 on Spray Paint Art Secrets. Here's what we got for you this month. We're going to paint this eye galaxy. This is a picture of the actual galaxy. So let's see how we can paint it. Now these are some effects that I worked out with Gerardo Amor. This was our last winter together in Puerto Vallarta and we came up with some great effects to paint this eye galaxy and we had a lot of fun doing it. We're using a lot of transparent here. We're using something to blow the paint around and we're using all our standard tools. And I show you how to do this this month, July 2017 in the membership area. So I hope you enjoy this video. And we're going to work on some other nebulas and galaxies this month. Also going to do a spiral galaxy. That's got some cool effects as well in the planets. So I'll show you how to do that. And we're going to be using just regular spray paint and some different kinds of sponges and washcloths. We're going to use the poster board to control the paint and to add little little accents here and there. We're going to use a lot of clear coat. I'm really getting into using this clear coat and air source. And we're just going to have a lot of fun painting a new kind of spiral galaxy that you can add to your repertoire. And then we're going to go over how to add all the kinds of cosmic effects that really bring out the best in your painting. The planets, the accents, the lights, the glowing twinkling stars. And then we're going to do another kind of galaxy this is more of an abstract nebula kind of a, a painting, but it's a lot of fun because it shows you how you can take any pile on of colors that you've had to create sort of, sort of a big mishmash of color and then how to use that to create just really delicate, beautiful galaxies using different kinds of sponges and washcloths and tools. Yours is not going to come out exactly like this, and that's exactly how it should be. Yours should come out completely different because this is an improvisation that comes out differently depending on the colors you choose, the kind of paint you're using, but the tools, the technique are the same, and they're, they're solid, very cool techniques. So I hope you enjoyed this. And then we're going to add some planets to it using circle cutouts. If you don't have a set of circle cutouts, you should make yourself some. Get a thick piece of poster board, or there's a board called Mighty Board, which is kind of plasticky. You can get it from Sherwin-Williams, and you can just trace the bowls and the, the holes and the caps and the things that you use. Trace them on there with a pencil or a pen, and then very carefully with an X-Acto knife, cut them out. That's how you make your circle cutouts. You just got to be very slow and careful, but it will be useful for years if you make yourself a good one and especially if you make it out of Mighty Board. And then we're going to work on a painting that uses a new kind of tool that I'm exploring with you. These are tools used in clay work for making lots of little lines. And they're very fun for making cities. So in this painting, I make a very misty sky. And then I start to add in a city, adding all kinds of paint. And then I'm gonna use these clay tools to draw in the buildings. So you'll see that in a moment. So there's our tool. It doesn't have to be this particular tool. There's all kinds. If you go to a clay, um, a clay store where they sell uh, stuff for working clay or online, you can find them. And you can find all these tools that make lines. And they make great cities. So you can just draw the city in using this tool and your palette knife or your paint spatula or whatever. And then there's all kinds of tricks that you can do to make it really pop and stand out. So I like this because it looks kind of like an old time, sort of an ancient city, but with a cosmic landscape. It's just nice to see the variety of textures and effects that you can create using all of these wonderful spray paint art techniques. So if you're interested in learning spray paint art, go to spraypaintartsecrets.com. You can get a free lesson there to start you off. Gerardo Amor, the wonderful Mexican creator of all the, the techniques that you're seeing in the newspaper work, the comets, the planets. He played a big part in creating all this. Unfortunately, he passed away on June 2nd, and I am still in mourning, but you can learn his wonderful techniques so that a part of him carries on 
in you. And the free lesson is Gerardo, showing you how to make the greatest planet ever. Because he made the most beautiful planets. So go to Spray Paint Our Secrets and download that free lesson. And sign up to get your classes so that you can continue this work of discovering spray paint art techniques and painting the universe. He really valued painting the cosmos. He was much more of a, a, a space painter than he was a landscape painter. And I'm hoping that he's out there with, with his planets and his galaxy right now, enjoying. And you can enjoy his amazing legacy. So in this painting, we're going to use some tools maybe you haven't used before, different kinds of uh, texture tools to make the pine trees and the, and the vegetation, and I'll show you how to do that, and there's this cool effect of the light coming out of the planet, and Gerardo was so happy every time there was a new, a new effect, something that was discovered. So take these effects, learn them, and then create your own, create your own effects, your own style. If you have any questions, my name is Alisa Amor, and you can email me at spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. See you inside. Ciao.